What's going on guys? I just picked up the Hero 5 and I wanted to do a quick video and tell you guys why I got the Hero 5 instead of the Hero 6. So I actually picked up the Hero 5 bundle and let's get into the unboxing first. So I've been looking for an action camera for a while now and I haven't really found a good one. I tried out the Amazon ones for like $50 and that's what I've been using. Uh, I'm mainly using the action cameras to record my motorcycle vlogs. So this is a setup I have now. It's literally like a $50 camera that I have that I bought on Amazon. It does shoot 4K and it does have um, 60 frames per second. But honestly, it's so contrasty and it's to the point where that the shadows are actually literally like black. The quality isn't that great, so that's why I decided to upgrade to the Hero 5. So you might be wondering, why did I get the Hero 5 instead of the Hero 6? The Hero 6 has been out for like a couple months now. Well, one of the main reasons is because of the price. Right now, I looked on Best Buy and looked on a bunch of other photography websites and they're going for around five, $600. And recently, I just saw this on Apple and I got a really good deal on it. I got it for $315 Canadian and that's around 250 US, which is a really good deal. And this includes like a lot of things. So this is actually a bundle. So like you saw in the unboxing, you get a lot of accessories, which is a plus. I'm also going to be picking up a microphone. It does require an adapter to use with a GoPro, but that'll allow me to talk while I ride and do my motor vlogs. So another reason why I didn't choose the Hero 6 is because I didn't really need all the features. I don't need 4K at 60 frames per second or the 1080p 240 frames per second. Like that's not what I'm gonna be doing. What I'm gonna be using is mainly 1080p at 60 frames per second, or I might bump it up to 120 frames per second if I need to get that slow motion. And that's really all I need. Yes, I've seen the reviews on YouTube and the stabilization is awesome. Like, it's night and day when it comes to stabilization. However, I'm going to be mounting it on the helmet. I don't really care about the stabilization and I don't really care about the cinematics. So it's just really a way to document when I'm riding. Honestly, if I needed the stabilization, I would just throw it on a small gimbal. Nothing has really changed in terms of the physical appearance and the hardware. And I feel that this is a camera that should have came out a year ago. So this feels like just like an, a little upgrade and they should have just called it the 5 plus. And the battery life is about the same. You'll get an hour and 30 minutes. Because of the price and because of the, all the accessories that I got, I felt that it wasn't necessary for me to upgrade to the 6. And this is my first real professional action camera and I felt that this is a really good upgrade from me coming from a Amazon $50 knockoff. So yeah, this is just a quick video to let you know why I chose the 5. I think it's a great camera, especially if you're just getting into GoPros. This is a great time to buy a GoPro Hero 5 Black because you get such a great deal. So I'm really excited about this camera and I'm looking forward to taking my motorcycle adventures to the next level. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be doing more reviews and photography tips in the future. Thank you. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment and please like the video as well. See ya.